Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team, and this video will demonstrate for you how to access the SIP logs for your Radvision iView SIP back-to-back -back user agent. Now the procedure that I'll be demonstrating for you applies to the iView Management Suite release 7.x. And there may be instances where you want to view the SIP message logs for your, your SIP back-to-back -back user agent, which is part of the iView suite. This can be useful when debugging issues with SIP calls between endpoints or from an endpoint to an MCU or something like that through the iView suite. And I'm going to demonstrate for you how to view these logs using remote desktop to your iView management suite server. So I've already logged into my management suite server here using remote desktop. Now the server that's running my iView management suite is a Windows 2008 server. Uh, the procedure would actually be very similar if this were a Windows 2003 server as well. So what we'll do is we'll start by going to the start menu down at the bottom there, the start button. And from the menu that pops up, we will select all programs. And then we will select the Radvision iView Suite folder that's listed there. And you'll notice that one of the first options that is given to us is the iView Logs option. So we'll go ahead and select that. This takes us to the Log folder for the iView Management Suite. However, if you notice in this folder, we don't really see any SIP logs. And that's because there are not any. And this is the, again, the server management suite log folder. So what we're going to do is go back a couple of directories here. If you notice at the top of the, uh, at the top of the explorer window that pops up there, we have our path to this log folder. So we're going to go back to the ICM folder there. I'm just going to go up and click on that. Now from the ICM folder, you'll notice that there's a subfolder called SIP server. And that is the folder we want to open. And then from here, we have another subfolder called logs. So we'll go ahead and open that. And finally, you see that we have several revisions of our SIP server log. The SIP server log includes the status for the SIP server at periodic intervals, as well as individual SIP messages related to calls passing through the SIP back-to-back -back user agent that's part of iView. So let's just open one up real briefly here. We won't see much in there because there hasn't been much activity on this server, but just so you'll get an idea of what the contents are. So if you open up the SIP server file that's listed at the top there, you'll notice that at specific intervals, in fact, at five minute intervals, there's a snapshot of the status of the server that is taken and logged here in this file. The snapshot includes the number of transactions that have occurred. So essentially here what you're seeing is the number of SIP calls or what you would see is the number of SIP calls that were successful, connected, rejected, and failed, and et cetera, during that interval. Now again, as I said, I don't have any calls passing through this on a regular basis, so you don't really see very much listed here. But it is good to know that you can come here and look at these intervals uh, at this status at various intervals and get some useful information out of it. As I mentioned previously in this log, you would also see SIP messages assuming there were any calls uh, happening during that period of time. And just for clarity, if we look back up at the path there, that is the path where these logs are stored in the Radvision iView Suite ICM SIP Server Logs folder. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.